Hey folks, another beer courtesy of Steven. This one is from Fox Farm. Um, it is called Patch. It is 5.2% ABV. Um, I don't know why it's called Patch. It looks like it's like a bug, like a mosquito wing or some type of wing. 5.2%, um, 5.2%. That's all it says. Love me some pale ales. Love me some Fox Farm. So Steven, thank you again for sending this in the rest of the beers. I think I still have one more mystery beer left. I feel pretty good about both mystery beers. If you haven't watched them yet, I feel pretty good. All right. Move this seat back. And this beer has a big head. So this is like a really kind of animate, not animated glass, but a lot of art on the glass. So it's a little hard to see. But yeah, you can see it's like a golden, it's a light golden, um, yeah. It's like a, oh yeah, a, a light, a light golden. In person, it looks a little brighter on, on camera because of the light, but in person, yeah, it's a little bit a little bit darker. Um, big, fluffy bubbles of head. I got about, if I'm guessing correctly, because I can't really see, I'm guessing maybe close to two fingers maybe, but it was awesome. It's like just floating around the glass. I got it like a whiff of like lemongrass already. Let's get a nose. There's like lemon, lime zest like a pithiness. It smells like lemon lime. Yeah, this is, there's a kiss, a kiss. If you really pull a kiss of, of like crackery malt, I'm diving in. Cheers. Thanks, Stephen. This one's fun. So, Looking at it, smelling it, I'm expecting this sort of like like a, like a hazier pale, but it's got bite, man. It's got some bite on it. It's got a nice level of bitterness. It still has a juicy characteristic, so it's not full West Coast stuff. I don't think it's full East Coast either. It's got this slice kind of like smashedness, and it's not a Midwest either because you know Midwest, you kind of get the, this is like a very a different for me like East meets, meets West vibe. I wonder what hops are in this. Let's see, Fox Farm Patch. Yeah, as I'm talking, it's got this like resiny bitterness. Um, the 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 malt is right up there too. Like it's it's way more prominent than it was on the nose. Um, but yeah, Fox Farm knows what they're doing. Here we go, Fox Farm Patch. Let's see if we can see what hops are in this. Because I couldn't, I don't know if I pinpoint. Like I want to say like it's gonna sound weird. I want to say like Enigma, but when I think of Enigma, I think of like a, a um uh. Dank here, Galaxy. All right, here we go. Uh, with two intriguing hops, Belma and Meridian, both are relatively new in general to us, but seem to fit perfectly with our approach to a hop-forward ale. The intersection between the two variant uh, varieties lies in the realm of mixed berry qu qualities. Strawberry currant, you'll find lemon zest, melon, and just ripe peach. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, clean, bright, and approaching bitter qualities. Yeah, I, I would say those are... I want to say Belma has a. I thought I, I thought I recall Belma being um, part of Enigma, but I'm I'm probably just like trying to be like, look at me, I know what kind of hops these are. Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I was like, maybe Enigma hops and Be Belma hops have a lineage together. That's why I keep saying it. Uh, I don't see anything. Nope. Uh, uh customers also purchased. Enigma hops. So there we go. <laughs> Kidding. Um, this beer is awesome. It's got that like crackly malt. It's got the lemon. I can see that. I can see the berry now that it's in my mind, but it's in my mind now. But the bitterness is just, it's bracing. It stops you. But you make, you want, you, after it like goes, after it like finishes and goes away a little bit, it makes you want to kind of go back for more. Um, it is, it is fantastic. 5.2%. Mike and I have said before, this is a beer that like you could sit and forget, or you'd be sitting at a bar, you order this beer, maybe you and your buddy both order it, right? And you're sitting there and you're like, doo, 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 talking, and you're like, then your conversation changes from some nerdy thing like like Batman or something like that to this beer because this beer you can definitely talk about. Uh, but you can also just kind of like after you're done, you're just like, all right, let's just sip it and drink it. But it, it's fantastic. Steven, thank you again. Down in the comments, if you had Fox Farms patch there, 5.2% American Pale Ale with Belma and Meridian hops. I remember that at the top of my head. I was going to pull my phone out. I didn't have to. Um, don't forget to check out nerdsense.net from there. All of our social media spots, Instagram, Facebook. Instagram and Facebook. 
<laughs> I don't really post many other places. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, there's a notification bell so you can probably post new videos. And I'm Sean. This is Nerd Sense. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>